Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Eastern Michigan's just been unable to put together four sports. You take little snippets out of each and every game during this losing streak, and it looks like a pretty good football team. But mistakes at crucial times have doomed them. Can they finally clean up their act and get this thing going in the right direction? That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Eastern, Eastern Michigan is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they make the stop at the 37. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. The Broncos always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. It. He's in space. And he shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Two times, two times. He's into the open field. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a team of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. And for Oklahoma State, 
They've won two straight. Oklahoma State gets the W, 17-14. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Western Michigan to kick this one off. Thomas. Thomas from the six. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. the catch and look out and he's tackled at the 21 so the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff tackle made at the 11 yard line from the 11 yard line Second down. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. So a four-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 32. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drop. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. First down. Let's go deep. Slings it out there incomplete. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. There's a little draw play. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Allen picks up about four yards on the delayed handoff. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over.
Lawson, Lawson the intended receiver, receiver on the play. On the play. That'll, That'll make, make it, it second, second and long. long. We've got second and long. Ball on their own 14. Quick pass. He's on the run. Tackle around the 21 yard line. With the reception. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll make it 39. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's taken down around the 22-yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it fourth and eight. Harris awaits the snap. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's pushed out of bounds around the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down around the 28-yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you've got a big-time advantage over any defense. the stop at the 15. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. From the 15-yard line, first down. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. And he converts the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 29-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Anderson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 27. hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. And they lose a couple there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Ready. Ready. 
He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. Second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Here we go. Throws and it's incomplete. Thomas is the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. Two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Allen's had his problems here in the first half individually, but you got to think he's got a great smile on his face knowing that the other guys around him have picked this game up and gotten the lead here before halftime. I always like to see the, the attitude and the body language of a superstar player when he's not necessarily having his best game and the team is winning. What's his reaction? Is he down the dumps? Is he still there for, for moral support? Is he still trying to do the small things to help his team win? And so far, we've seen that from him today. And uh, I think, I'm sure his coaches and I'm sure his teammates really appreciate that. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Western Michigan up seven points. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Field. It's first down. hit before he can go anywhere. Tyler raises down to the 42 yard line. That'll bring up third and two. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's got it with room to run. He steps out at the 26. First down. yard line you know what after a play like that I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again it's second down now and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker Western Michigan is up by a touchdown and he tackles him hard at the six yard line we're at play number nine of this current drive Runs outside for a nice game. The defense got 
on some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. The Broncos had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmate. Western Michigan can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's get you up to date on what's happening in some games with major BCS implications. The Tigers relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. And for Ward, he's got a rushing touchdown in this one. Clemson has the lead, 7-3. Middle of the first quarter. Ten-point game here, Reese, 17-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. DeAngelis from the two. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Set, cut. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. Four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Eastern Michigan's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. He chucks it downfield. Coleman was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there, and one of his guys can come down with it. Slings it. Almost picked off. We've played a half. Western Michigan in front, 17-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? Knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football. I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Is stinky? <laughs> yes. Red and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. The Broncos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Zach 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Moss is back deep to return. Brought down at the 44-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. With the pass incomplete, he let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time. But he'll get the next one. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. He goes out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Third down. the middle for a nice game. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Tackle at the 22-yard line. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Brown, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 22-yard line. It's second down. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Out of bounds at the 48. That makes it second and six. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up, and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Right around the 36-yard line. And 
this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes it to the 24. From the 24-yard line, first down. for the first down. That's a great tackle at the 12-yard line. Now this is the 10th play of this drive. Brought down at the one. Two-score game, and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. This is the 12th play of this drive. Defense stacked in tight here. He's taken down at the two. That's a loss of one yard. That makes it third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. Handoff running back, not enough. Loss of one on the way. That brings us fourth and goal. The Broncos linebacker shaken up earlier, but he is a tough customer, and I think he'll be back in this game before it's over. So at the end of three, Western Michigan in front, 17-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And he is drilled at the three-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they make the stop at the 17. That makes it first and 10. From their own 17-yard line, first down. He tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 18. He's out to the 30. He makes his way out to about the 35. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. First and 10, ball on the 35. Makes it out to about the 49. That's good for the game. First down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42. That's good for gaining nine yards. That brings a short yardage situation here. It's second down and one.
carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That makes it second and two. The Eagles will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He fights forward to about the 30. Allen only picks up about a yard there on the draw play. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Makes it to the 21. That'll bring up second and three. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Play and it's first and goal. That's a game of 20 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Outside the goal line. This is the 14th play of this drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action of this one? This is about what I expected to see in this game. Eastern Michigan is not a bad football team, but they don't have the killer instinct that it takes to knock off some of the better teams they face. I saw a team out there today that wasn't playing to win. They were playing not to lose, and that just doesn't work. presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.